quite a few antelope and uh, a lot of the guys in the other blinds didn't see too, too many. So I'm giving it another shot. Uh, it's around 6.30 in the morning right now and the temperature is a lot cooler than a couple of years ago when I was at the ranch. Uh, the temperature right now is 12.7 Celsius, which is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's supposed to be in the 80s today, so that's good. It's very clear and sunny. Uh, so far, uh, just scouting around with my binocs, I can see one antelope way in the distance, at least 500 yards away, uh, just bedded down. Otherwise, I haven't seen anything else, but it's still really early. So hopefully some nice ones come and give me a shot this morning. So it's uh, around 10 a.m. on day two. Uh, <clears throat> I had seen about three antelope, and just when I thought that it was a pretty slow morning, four mule deer does pop out. I can see them in the distance a few hundred yards away. And then five antelope are uh, walking out in the field a few hundred yards away. They're all does though. So no shooters there. But uh, it's nice to see uh, a whole bunch of animals walking around. And uh, it's getting warmer now. It's pretty windy. So uh, hopefully uh, Something will come into the water all soon. So about 11.30, uh, I'm just sitting in the chair, look up at the watering hole, and there's uh, a Nona fawn. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, I filmed him for a while, and they were just uh, eating and drinking around the water hole. It was pretty cool. I was hoping maybe they'd attract, attract a buck. But uh, no such luck. So I'll just uh, carry on and uh, it's getting closer to around noon right now. It's pretty windy, but it's getting warm, so that's good. See success. Oh, my heart is pounding. So uh, yeah, I was able to see that guy coming from behind. I saw him with my binocs. He looked like a real good one. Really excited. Uh, what time is it? It's about uh, 3:30 right now. So I put my flag up waiting for the guys to come get me. 
I saw the uh, antelope go down. Wow, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm real happy, that was a real nice one. Really good shot too, so it didn't go very far. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, climb out of here now and uh, see if I could find it. It's not too far. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Successful hunting trip. So I'm going to see if I can find my arrow, and uh, oh yeah, here it is. So, it's the best way to get this like this. I think this is the sign of success. is here's my uh, here's my antelope um, real nice one this guy um, came in behind me about 50 yards and I caught him on my binocular so I was totally prepared when he came in for a drink uh, he came into the water hole I didn't give him much time and uh, exactly what I wanted Really nice symmetrical heart shape with ivory tips, nice cutters, good mass, black face. Exactly what I came here for. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, yeah, this is the only tag I have, so hopefully my friend Dave got one. If he didn't, I'm gonna probably go with him and try to film him uh, shoot one tomorrow. Um, this is the second time I've been to Spearhead Ranch, and even though they've had lots of rains, you'd think the population was down, but I've seen lots of animals and lots of bucks, and if you're patient, one will come in eventually. Today's the second day of my hunt. Uh, I had three more days if I wanted to, but no, this was uh, exactly what I came for, so I had to take it now. Uh, the Moors and Spearhead Ranch are absolutely fantastic, super nice people, um, feels like family when you're here, um, highly recommend them. Uh, this is my third antelope now, all of them are beauties. Um, can't say enough great things about the ranch. So uh, yeah, very happy with this guy. Now I'm going to take some photos, process it. and. Uh, I got my flag up, so hopefully someone should be here to pick me up pretty soon.